Welcome to Norfolk, Virginia, home of the Old Dominion Monarchs. And close to a full house here as fans are eagerly anticipating this clash we have in store. Today, a couple of Sunbelt rivals ready to square off. As we'll see, the Texas State Bobcats taking on the Old Dominion Monarchs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Old Dominion Monarchs offense takes the field for the first time today. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All ten guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. Finds a tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. The Monarchs racing to the line in the hurry-up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And here comes the punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Running it back, it's Anderson. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. So Texas State's offense will get the ball for the first time. A first down for the offense. From the shotgun, the inside give. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Trying to pick up a first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Bobcats will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Toss to the outside. On the move at the 30. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. That's the way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. Wilson will throw. He lets it fly. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And if you turned on the tape, you're getting more of the same in the first quarter. This defense last week harassing the QB with six sacks, now getting out the gates in the first quarter and getting their first one. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Trying to escape and get it himself. You know those defenders wanted to light him up. Quarterback wisely gets down with the spot. And the Monarchs will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. Give to the back. Oh, better look out. 
And he breaks into the open. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. The Bobcats want to pick up the tempo. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. They move the tight end all over. He'll pull it on the read. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Bobcats. Number eight. Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by 7 over Texas A&M. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. He'll keep it himself. The Monarchs will move the sticks. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. First down for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Second down. He'll do it himself. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Grabbed in the middle, it's Alston. He's got enough to move the chains and they'll spot it at the 47. And the Monarchs are rolling down the field. And that wasn't easy. Hitch route on third down with tight coverage. The receiver doing a great job shielding the defender away from him, catching it and getting the first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. And off from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The Monarchs want to move quickly. Wilson to pass. And they got him for the sack. That defender did not care that the running back was setting up behind him on a screen. He was just thinking one thing and one thing only. See ball, get ball. He did that. And the Monarchs will call on their punt team. And that one will bounce and roll out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they mark it. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communicator. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. 
Man, this has been a struggle for this offense, protecting their quarterback. It's priority's mission number one, right? Every single game you go into last week, I think a lot of the reason they lost was because they gave up so many sacks and hits on their quarterback. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Open space at the 25. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Bobcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Give to the running back. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, it's McLeod. Throws to the wideout. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Still on his feet at the 45. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. The give to the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. The Bobcats want to crank the tempo. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got his man. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. And the Bobcats look to do some damage in the red zone. Second down. He'll pull it on the read. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. First and goal, Texas State. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's going to the right looking for a path to the end zone. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas State. Can these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Really disciplined job by the conference unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. He'll keep it himself. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter. And he can't escape, and down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got it set up on the outside. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Monarchs decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll bring it back. It's Anderson. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just... Makes a catch down the right side. He gets it to the 31-yard line, a big play for this offense. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles, he can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter. Texas State has the lead here. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll try the run. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. The Bobcats will hustle for the line. On third down, going up top. Now adjusting. He's going to take off. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And the Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Buys a little time. Short gain on the play before he slides. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's McLeod. They're trying to get to it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. A first down run on the doorstep. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Texas State. Touchdown. Texas State. They are seizing Number control 21. and taking away he hope as they push out the lead in this week eight showdown. This guy just has a nose for the end zone and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but it's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. Wilson will throw. They're bringing heat. 
And the quarterback is snowed under. You got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. And the Monarchs will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Turns it on in midfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time they attacked the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Bobcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Coming after him. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to make magic with his feet. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. And now on second down for this offense. They'll go to the counter. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Bobcats are threatening in the red zone. Now they'll run the draw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Little touch pass to the receiver. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put half push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the other side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Bobcats. He's into his happy place, the end zone, and he's been very, very happy because he's been there regularly in the first half. Yeah, most people are happy with, you know, several touchdowns in a season. But you just feed them, and he keeps getting in the end zone, keeps piling up touchdowns. Those stats are just climbing up and up and up. Thank your offensive line. Take him out to dinner tonight. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And they finish it off with the score from the four. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. Takes a hit as he fires. And that pass is intercepted. Didn't find much room on the return, but now they are in business and poised to strike from the 25. Really nice job there by the defense, because I think they baited the QB into trying to fit that one in over the middle of the field. Remember, it's a big zone coverage. They've all got their eyes on him back there in the pocket, and they just let him feel like, maybe I can fit this football in. 
Not so fast. They come away with the pick. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Here's the handoff. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Scanning the field, it's McLeod. Looking to scramble. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. He'll pull it on the read. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They keep pushing forward, now back to work on second and goal from the six. Wide out in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And he's dragged down. They'd love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. Getting some heat. He was thinking touchdown on the scramble, but they're able to stop him short of the end zone. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Unloads to the wideout. Saw so spot in the middle. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Going to take a shot at this DB. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there almost had it in his grasp. Wilson to pass. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Pocket starts to collapse. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Pressure coming. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Lord have mercy. I got nothing for him. Three in a row? Really? Three sacks? All right, let's change the game plan. Let's run the football, get the ball out quick. This isn't working. The Monarchs send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First down for this offense. Out of the gun, the inside give. Across the 25, he's got room. Oh, look out. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bobcats. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Number 21. 
You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Lining up to add another. The kicker is on for the extra point. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be knocked down. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Norfolk to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power, this young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Ballard Stadium. And the Monarchs will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Back to pass. It's McLeod. Got out of trouble and throws. Out of the backfield, he's open. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Third down coming up after the completion. Third down coming. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Bobcats will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Offense set on first down. He'll keep it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. Handoff from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Hit as he throws. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. The Monarchs will punt it away on fourth down. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He gets a block. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Leaves it with the running back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Second down coming up. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. 
And the Bobcats will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin them deep. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They're facing a third down. Wilson will throw. They're working that left side. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got it up for the first down. And the Monarchs come to the line with a new set of downs. Power football with the run. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Off the play fake. Finds his tight end. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Monarchs have this offense rolling. And first down for the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And that is another first down for the offense. On the ground with the counter. And I think they'll give him two on that with second and eight coming up. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. On the run, it's Young. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And he falls on top of his own fumble. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. And the Monarchs Number line up to punt it away. On to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Texas State has the football back and they'll go on offense. He'll do it himself. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. To throw. It's McLeod. Extending the play. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the ground game. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll go to the ground. The Bobcats get it past the sticks. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. And that's a first down for the offense. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off. And really good vision there. Just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. That's the end of the quarter. Texas State has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Ball is at the 41 as his defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. And the Bobcats will send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. 
ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. I can't think of anything that frustrates an offensive coordinator more than holding the ball a long time and having no points to show for it, David. And Reese, first downs, yards, that's not even what they look at anymore. Yards don't really matter. you got to execute those critical areas on the field and get points on the board. Yeah, it was mental errors on that last drive, too, that led to negative plays. they got to get those things erased and pull it back to the freshman able to get home with the sack you gotta love the defense that just is flying around and having fun that's what these guys look like right all game long everything has gone their way and here we are early in the fourth quarter and they are still bringing their a game getting a sack on that last one this is a third and long Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. And how about this defense? They got the donut going. And, and here's one thing I'll tell you about the donut. Late in the game, you're talking about on the field. We want to finish this thing and keep that zero on the scoreboard. No matter who's in the game, who we've rotated, everybody's trying to get a zero up there. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Downfield and in, complete the defense holds. Couldn't ask for better field position for this offense. Leaves it with the back. Shows him the stiff arm. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. They'll put the tight end in motion. Pushes toward the goal line. Touchdown, Texas State! And the beatdown has ensued. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by just two over Texas A&M. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. This play will be a big indication of whether this drive goes anywhere on second and long from the 11. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third down coming up. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. They're trying to get to it. And the sack, and this offense has just struggled. They haven't done anything right, and they got a full go. Like, they got to find something in this next quarter to hang their hat on, something to, to leave with some positive vibes. The Monarchs will put this one away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Makes the catch at the midfield logo. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. From the gun, running back on the move. 
Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Put jet sweep pass. Got a little space. Oh, look out, there he goes. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And you see so many of these plays now in today's football. Wide receiver coming in motion, and the quarterback catches it, just flips it forward. That's a completed pass. Uh, you see the big plays where it just lets him get on the edge really, really quick. Touchdown, Texas State. And the route is on. They can now exhale just a little bit with that lead, and they are close to a victory here in the eighth week of the season. If these guys wanted to make a statement, the statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop it. Oh, don't run the score up. Well, do something about it. The defense has to step up and make plays. Obviously, they're not willing to do that, so just keep running plays and keep scoring. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Texas State, 49, zero. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. Wilson to pass. Throws to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, they'll take to the air. They're bringing him. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, these guys, they're 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tuck. Touchdown, Bobcats! And the punishment has been extended. Texas State. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Texas State, 56, Old Dominion. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Only you ready to send the offense back onto the field. And after that last turnover, David, prime example, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it just puts you behind the eight ball. I mean, this offense has to do something. Put it together. You got a deficit, Palmer. You need some mojo. Something needs to go your way. At this point of the game, they've got to score touchdowns every time they have possession. Turns it loose deep. Snags it on the right. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Wilson will throw. He looks that one in nicely. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a... And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Old Dominion. 
this has been a rough day for this offense, and finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum, maybe, for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board, so it's not all bad. And they did tack on that extra point without any adventure. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. The give on the inside. Still running at the 40. Stopped him at the 41, but that's a big pickup of 15. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not down for the tackle. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Brings up second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Quarterback on the keeper. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better, they go out, they take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.